it's Ashley here and I am in the Edendale Garden and today we're going to tour the labyrinth section of our garden. A lot of stuff is blooming and growing uh, with the changing of the seasons. Spring is here. Uh, we're getting a lot of nice sun and rain. So we're going to see what's blooming and growing. Right. So first off, you can see we have beautiful nasturtiums. You can hear the geese in the background at the Echo Park Lake. Gorgeous nasturtiums, edible flower, great pollinator. We're going to walk past our lavender on the left. We kind of have the last blooming daffodils at the entrance. Now a lot of stuff is blooming that likes the spring, but we also have some things that are flowering from fall and winter. So this is bok choy that has started to flower and we leave it in the garden because the bees and pollinators really love these flowers. So even though we're not necessarily eating the bok choy anymore, it still benefits our pollinators. So let's walk down this way. We have some really beautiful snapdragons coming up here. And those are kind of fun. Lots of different colors. And then as you can see our Sweet peas are growing and about to bloom, and they're kind of on the back wall there. And then in the foreground, we have our sunflowers that are growing and about to bloom. So, as you can see, there's a lot going on right now. We have our ranunculus flowers here, calendula that's blooming, this gorgeous. Thai basil plant, so many blooms, so many bees, which is really lovely. I'm going to keep walking. We have our milkweed. Monarch butterflies love the milkweed. We have some garlic here and peppers from last year that we'll keep in the ground and they might bring us some more peppers. Over here we have tons of oregano and it smells amazing. We have strawberries that are starting to bloom again. You can see the little flower there. We have onions growing. This is our row of thyme which just smells amazing. You just can kind of ruffle it a bit and it has a gorgeous scent. Uh, we have mint which loves to grow everywhere. And some more beautiful calendula. Walking around. See, a lot of stuff is starting to get bigger. As we get more sun, things will keep growing. And we have gorgeous, this is our olive tree. And all of these are little buds that will, will hopefully bloom into flowers and maybe turn into olives, which is really wonderful. Uh, let's see what else we've got going here. A lot of calendula, some kale. Over here we have fennel and the blue flowers is borage, which the bees just love the borage. And it's also an edible flower has a nice subtle smell and taste to it. And then we're back here at the nasturtiums. So that was just a quick tour of our labyrinth garden. Things are growing and changing and I'll keep working in the garden and planting new things as the weeks go by. So thank you for joining me in the labyrinth today.